Hi, and welcome to another episode of Wagstaff Explains. Today's topic, dilations. Let's take a look at our first problem. The graph shows the dilation of rectangle ABCD to rectangle ABCD prime through the origin. So we have our original, let's just label that O, and then our new rectangle, let's just label that N. Record the new vertices and the rule in the table below. So A prime is at 1, 3. B prime is at 3, 3. C prime is at 3, 2. And D prime is at 1, 2. So now we have all of our new locations. Uh, we need to now figure out what is the scale factor so that we can determine the rule. So it's new over the original is our scale factor. And so we can pick basically any point. So let's try C. So if we take C, our new C is at 3. And our original C is at 9. And so that would simplify to one third. Let's just do one more to be sure that we have the correct scale factor. So this time let's do D. So the new D is at two and the original D is at six. And so two six would also simplify to one third. So our rule would be one third times our x values and one third times our y value. Let's take a look at our next question. Rectangle ABCD is dilated by a scale factor of three to rectangle ABCD prime through the origin. Record the new vertices and the rule in the table below. So we know that our scale factor is three. So we know that we're going to be taking three and multiplying that times our X values and three and multiplying that times our Y values. So if we take one and multiply that by three, we're going to get three. And if we take our X value three and multiply that by three, we're going to get nine. So A prime is going to be at three, nine. Take three and multiply that by three and we get nine and multiply this by three and we also get nine. So then B prime is at nine, nine. Multiply by 3, we get 9. Multiply by 3, and we get 6. So C prime is at 9, 6. Multiply by 3, we get 3. Multiply by 3, and we get 6. So D prime is at 3, 6. Let's connect our point so that we can see our rectangle. And let me go back and label this as D prime. And so now we are done.
I'm going to leave you with the dilation rules. Thank you for watching another episode of Wagstaff Explains. Now you know how to dilate figures using scale factor.